Chitty Chitty Bang Bang by Ian Fleming. This is an incredibly magical book about a magical car. It's one of my favourite books and one of my favourite films and musicals as well. You might recognise the author because it's the same person that wrote the James Bond stories. The children, in fact the whole family, sat on the tips of their behinds, if you see what I mean and waited excitedly to see what would happen. A kind of soft humming noise began. It seemed to come from all over the car, from the front axle and from the back axle and from underneath the bonnet. And then the most extraordinary transmogrifications, which is just a long word for changes, began to occur. The big front mudguard swiveled outwards so they stuck out like wings, sharply swept back and the smaller back mudguards did the same. It was lucky the road was wide and there was single lane traffic, or a neighbouring car or a telegraph pole might have been sliced in half by the sharp green wings. The wings locked into position with a click and at the same time, though the family couldn't see it from behind, the big radiator grille slid open like a sliding door and the big propeller of the fan belt, together with the flywheel underneath that runs the petrol pump and the electric generator, slowly slid forward until they were sticking right out in front of the bonnet of the car. And then, on the dashboard, beside another little lever, a green light started to blink. And this light said, pull down. Commander Pot, rather nervously, but this time obediently, reached over and gingerly pulled the lever very, very slowly down. And then, in heaven's name, what do you think happened? Yes, you're right. You're absolutely right. The wings slowly tilted and as Commander Pot, at last realising what Chitty Chitty Bang Bang was up to, pressed down the accelerator pedal. The big green car, which was now what I might call an aero car, tilted up her shining green and silver nose and took off. Yes, she took off like an aeroplane and soared up over the car in front, just missing her roof, and roared away over the long line of stationary cars in the queue, while all the people stared out of their car windows in absolute astonishment. And Commander Pot called out, Hang on, everyone! For heaven's sake, hang on! Nimsy and Jeremy and Jemima clutched the armrest beside them and just sat stiff with excitement and with their eyes and their mouths wide open, thinking, Heavens above! What is going to happen next? Well, what happened next was that there came a shrill whine of machinery and a thump, 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 thump from under the car. And automatically the four wheels retracted up into the bodywork so as to be out of the way and let the aero car go faster without the wind resistance of the wheels to slow her down. Commander Pot sat gripping the wheel and chuckling with excitement and delight. I told you so, he shouted against the roar of the wind. She's got ideas of her own. She's a magical car. Don't worry, she'll look after us.